and welcome back. We are continuing doing some, uh, some debugging, basically, uh, based on some of the session variables we set. And we are going to dive right into a couple of things that we want to work through now from a, a navigation point as well. Now, we can get to our tasks by going through a roadmap, then a time frame, and then clicking down into a task. And on this case, we can return back to our time frame, and we're good. However, if we come from a task list, then we don't really want to do this. We want to be able to return to the task list. If we come from our uh, home page, this is actually our to-do list, and we'd want to be able to return to our to-do. So what we can do is we can, and you know, we can leave those up there, we can do this annual personal goals, which of course we can go to our lists pretty easily. So what we probably want to do is come in and just allow this uh, return to per annual personal goals. Let's make that work. And the reason it doesn't is when we come through roadmap, uh, as we drill our way down in, this one works. And we'll get our time frame equals one. So that's being set right. But if we go from our task list and we return, then we're getting a does not exist. But it's not because our time frame, so our time frame's correct. What we have to actually look into here is we'll see that our oops here, our roadmap is not correct as it's having an issue with that, and probably because that's going to be none. We ran into that before, so we're going to look at the same thing basically here, where we did it before with our, uh, when we were editing a task, and we were checking to see if it existed. Then we also need to do in the edit roadmap, I'm sorry, edit time frame probably, uh, edit time frame, let's just do it this way. Edit time, edit task, edit time frame. Then we're going to see again if it's in the session, but it also we need to check. So we're going to do that same one. If the arm it, we got to make sure if it's none or not, because we're not actually removing it from the session when we clean it. Instead, we're setting it equal to none. And so I think that's the only place we check that. So now. Uh, we're going to see a different one. And so this is the list object has no attribute ID. So if we look at here, that time frame ID probably isn't getting set right. So let's look at 278. And it's probably the same issue. Oh, ID. Oh, because we have a roadmap.id. But we need to create, we need to do it like this, actually. Or let's do it this. Let's see. So the roadmap, we know because we're coming in from the time frame. So we can actually build that. So if there's not a roadmap there, then we actually can pull it from. Uh, I believe does our time frame point to a roadmap? If it does, then let's just put it does. So here, roadmap equals none. Uh, actually, we don't even need to work. Yeah, so we want to do that because here it's equal to that. Otherwise, we want it to be equal to. So if it's in the session, we're going to use that one else. And actually, we probably need to do this anyways. Uh, let's just, we can actually just do it this way because we've got our, oh, this would be if it was new. Uh, so that's going to be in our session. Otherwise, it's going to be equal to our object itself, which is data dot roadmap. So if we look here, uh, let's see, that annual personal goals should be able to still have the same one. Oh, we don't have it right. So data may not be correct. 
Well, let's do it this way. When we do the get, we'll just do it up here because I think we're not getting it. Let's see, that's record deleted. I think I called it roadmap. Let's make sure real quick. Oh, roadmap with the lower. I don't know, because we had its proper name. Oh, that's the reverse. Okay. Let's see if this works. It's a case adjusted. And if we do this now, whoop, now we're back to this. So we're missing something else in here. It is missing. It has no attribute ID. Oh, time frame ID. Are we not getting that set right? We may not be. Oh, that would be the parent. And so from up here, so we've got ID, which is the time frame. Did we reset it? We did not. I think we're missing something on one of these. Oh, probably this roadmap does not have an ID. So if we look at roadmap, are we getting it built? We have none. Oh, shoot. I don't need that. Because I just blanked it out. My mistake. Silly mistake. Now we're running and we have this going. So now we should be able to do this, return annual personal goals, which it does. If we go to tax, task list, time frame should be annual personal goals. And yes, it refers to it. So now we've got those cleaned up. So now we can actually walk through our uh, all of our tasks and we can actually push them up and down and do what we need to. Now we had some that here, I think we missed some of our counts. So if we look here, that looks pretty good. If we go here, oh, that's what we want to do. Uh, one of the things we're doing is we're we were going to show the number of tasks here, but I think I'm going to leave that for now. I want to clean this thing up. So I want to go back to basically my general edit, and I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And what I want to do is uh, let's see, I want to actually like slide this over and clean it up so it looks a little bit more like uh, it sort of flows with the other stuff. So what we've got here is if we look at our card here, we've got this table that's got a width of 80. But what I want to do is let's make it uh, let's center it so it's going to be 95 and let's change our border color to maybe match what we've got up top so if we look at uh, let's do it uh, let's see what it, maybe we'll just do a gray and see what that looks like actually let's start with the black if we look at that, that looks a little bit better. What we want to do is we want to get some spacing around some of this. And so uh, let's take that. Actually, let's go ahead to 100%. And let's change it to this color. So if we look at this color, it is this. And so let's go back to our card, uh, our table. Let's see if this looks a little better if we do it this way. So now we've got this darker red, and so that looks a little bit better. And then what we want to do is within our table, uh, where did that go? After our table, I don't know if I can do it from here. Well, I'm going to space this out a little bit. And I'm going to change these so that they are, I think we called it, Called it button task. And we want to let's change that up a little bit. So we're going to create a button form. So let's start with this. So let's go to this table. 
And oh, let's just take that. And so this is on edit task. Whoop. Let's go over here, edit task. That's task list. Don't need that up. Uh, let's see. Well, I can do this. Let's see, roadmap edit has that table. Same kind of thing. Whoop. Okay. Let me go back over to here. For some reason, it didn't pick that up. Copy the element. Let's see if this works a little better. I don't know why. Oh, it's not copying that. Sorry, I don't want to copy the element. I want to copy the... Huh? Oh, because it was doing the whole thing. Can I just copy? No. Let's see if I can do it this way. No, nope, it doesn't want it. So let's just copy the color. And then we'll fix the rest of it. So let's do that. Whoop, wrong one. So let's do this here. That's going to be 100%. Color is going to be red. And we want to do the same thing for basically all of our edits. We come in here, table, and time frame edit. We do the same thing. Oh, except for heat time frame edit is not working off of that. So we're good. Oh, because he doesn't have a, oh, his forms up here. There we go. There's our edits, so now we've cleaned that up. So everywhere that's going to look like that. Let's say let's work on these buttons a little bit. And actually, with this table, uh, and this is on because we're going to do this for edit task. We'll start with the edit task. Is we've got this button, and let's do a little break here, so that it gives us even if we have this, uh, we're going to have at least now a little bit of space there. And actually, let's do it this way. Let's do it only if we have a button. And then here, we're going to do a break before we get our little, uh, and let's, and we'll leave them there. But let's do class equals. And this will be a button edit. And let's change those a little bit. So let's go to our button edit. And we're going to have to, we'll get this changed because then it's going to take a little while for this thing to jump back in. So if we go check for our buttons, we have a button task. And let's make this our button. Ed, whoop. Do our button edit. And let's make that, uh, let's see, let's go back and look at our task one. So that was pretty good. So let's take a look at that. And so that was, the text was one color and then we had that dark gray. So let's actually change this around a little bit. For button edit, let's take the background color. Let's see, the text color was that red. So that's gonna be now my background color. And let make, let's make the color uh, pretty bright. And we'll keep the border color. Oh, and we're going to expand the width. And so let's see if it'll actually pick this up yet. Probably won't. Uh, and that was on edit a task. So they're not, it's not picking that up yet. So we'll have to pick that up next time around, which is good because we've hit our time limit for today. And we're going to clean up these buttons a little bit. As you see, we're spacing stuff out a little bit. Um, that did not pick up. Whoops. Task edit. Let's make sure we've got that. Turn to parent. Let's give it an extra one of space a little bit. I may not have saved that right. There we go. So we've got a little bit more space here and uh, we're going to clean up this and we're going to come back around and start actually building out 
uh, walk through and actually do some tasks, get some stuff completed. Next thing we want to do is add some reports. So we're getting there. But until next time, have yourself a great day, a great week, and we will talk to you at that point. <laughs>